In Creole Parametric, you have different creation methods for chamfers. And let's take a look at a situation in which those differences come into play. I'm going to create a chamfer and let's go to the sets tab over here. This drop down list allows us to choose the different creation methods, whether we want to use offset surfaces or tangent distance. And I'm going to chamfer the same edge using both methods. I will select this edge over here. Right now it has a value of 10 and you can see the resulting geometry. Let's change the method here from offset surfaces to tangent distance. And you'll notice that it automatically changed the D value for some reason. Let me change this to 10 and hit enter. And so we have a big difference when we're using the same dimensional value regardless of or depending on whether we're using tangent distance or offset surfaces. Let me change this to value of 10. And so again, we can see a big difference in the resulting geometry. Let's talk about the differences between these methods. And they really come into play when you are trying to create a chamfer on an edge that is not formed by planar surfaces or if you have conical or cylindrical surfaces. If you have these curved surfaces here that form the edge that you want to chamfer, that's when you have big differences between the offset surfaces and tangent diff distance. And again, this is like, I'm going to warn you, this is really going to get into the weeds here. I don't know who requested this to be in the software, but again, this is what you have in here. So let's take a deep look at the difference between offset surfaces and tangent distance. And to show you the resulting geometry, I'm going to sketch on this surface over here. I'll accept the values. Let's go into a sketch view over here. And I'm going to start off by showing you how the geometry is constructed when you are using the offset surfaces method. So what happens is it's going to offset the surfaces by the distance that you specify. Let me use the offset command in the sketch. Now I'll pick this edge over here and you'll notice that the orange arrow is pointing upwards. Let's change that to a value of negative 10. So that's going to be one of our offset surfaces. Let's now pick this edge over here. And again, we'll use an offset value of negative 10. And that's good. Let me click the OK button. You'll say, see that we have overlapping geometry over here. I'm going to use my friend squiggle trim in order to get rid of two of the segments. And there you can see where those two offset surfaces intersect. The way that the geometry is created for the chamfer is that you're going to have lines that are going to be created that are going to end up being, excuse me, perpendicular to the surfaces that are create or that create the edge. Let me find it. Oh, there it is over there. And then you connect those two lines together and that is what your chamfer is going to look like. Let me hit the check mark to get out of here. And so let me rotate the model. You can still see my sketch over here. Let's select that edge and then use the chamfer button. And here we have the value of 10. And you can see how it corresponds to the sketch that I just created. So that's the method that you get with offset services. Let me go to the sets tab to show you that again over here. Now, another thing to be aware of is that when you select your different edges, depending on how those edges are formed, whether they are at a 90 degree to each other or they're at a non 90 degree, or if they have of an angle that is changing around the reference, that's going to determine what kinds of dimensions that you can create. And here in this case, we have O by O or O1 by O2. You'll notice that we don't have any of the options like D by D or D1 by D2. Again, it's based on the nature of the first reference that you select over here. Again, it's really crazy that there's so much complexity involved in chamfers with this. Hey, when I think of chamfers, I just think of, I want to break some sharp edges. I want to get rid of some non-structural mass, but there's really a lot of math behind it, depending on the references that you select. All right, let's hit the check mark to complete that chamfer over there. And you can see the sketch that defines how this is created with 
those offset surfaces. Now let's take a look at the method that is employed when you're doing the tangent distance. And by the way, this extrude over here is just a mirror of the previous extrude. Let's create a sketch on this surface over here. I'm going to middle mouse button to get into sketch mode. I'm going to use my right mouse button to activate my references collector and pick the two different edges over here. All right, the way that the other method, the tangent distance method works, I'm going to start off by creating some lines in here. Let's create a line that's like from here over to here. And I'm going to create a line from here to here to connect those over here. All right, and let's put in some dimensions. I'm doing this to try to get it to come out correctly. So let's say that we have a distance of 10 there, distance of 10 over here, and then I need to make these lines tangent to the references. Let me choose tangent and pick this and this and this and this. All right, so this is sort of how your chamfer when you're using the tangent distances method is going to work. You're going to have some lines that are tangent to the references that form the edge, and you're going to have the hypothetical intersection of those tangent lines, and it's going to be based off of those tangent lines, the distance that you specify for the chamfer, and then it connects them up together. Let's take a look at what happens when we actually create a chamfer on that edge. And so I'm going to select this edge over here. Let's go to the edge chamfer command from the mini toolbar. Right now we have the value of 10 over here, but this is under the offset surfaces method. Let's go to tangent distance. Let me change this to a value of 10 over here. And you can see how it lines up with that sketch that I created. So again, that's the method that's used with tangent distance. Here in this particular case, again, because I'm using the tangent distance method and I selected that edge that is formed by two curved surfaces, I only have the options for D by D and D1 by D2 for the dimensioning schemes. So let's hit the check mark over there. So hopefully that provides some insight into the difference between those two different creation methods for chamfer, offset distance, excuse me, offset surfaces and tangent distance. And really, again, where it comes into play is when you have curved surfaces that form the edge that you want to chamfer. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.